guys what is up the silly good video on the channel with you guys today and yeah i i just need to get a few things up my chest for a start this is all about uh you know obviously birmingham karanka where i think we'll finish what i see crank's future as whether i'm cranker in or out whether you know just birmingham in general really i've been watching i've just been thinking about it dwelling after days and days and days about you know just really, you know, I just kind of lost a lot of interest in it, really, to be fair. You know, I don't really scroll from its Twitter as I used to, you know, check through fans' replies because it's just the same old, isn't it? You know, it's like people calling the Cranker out, you know, Donged out, T Trillion Trophy Asia out, you know, and all that. I do have some counterpoints, but at the same time, you know, I... Okay, let's kick off. Let's kick off. Bottom of yesterday. We lost 3-2. Positives. We played very well against a very good Bournemouth side. You know, uh, I don't think we deserve to lose, but we deserve to draw. I think we were, we were absolutely fantastic in the first half. Obviously, when Berta Bor scored that goal, our confidence just completely uh, dropped. And uh, yeah, but like I said, he doesn't help himself, Karanka. That's the issue because I do really want it to work for Karanka. I'm trying to defend him as much, as much, as much as I can. But I'm not gonna lie, I am on. I'm literally boarding the train to Karanka out. You know, to be fair. But I'm going to try and keep the faith because we do have Luton on the weekend, which can be a tough game. However, a winnable game because every single game in the division, I don't care who you face, is winnable. Every single game is winnable. Who would have predicted QPR to beat Watford? Nobody. Who would have predicted Blues to beat Borough away or Bristol away or Reading away? Nobody. <laughs> so the championship is that odd this season. Who would have beat Sheffield Wednesday to beat, predicted Sheffield Wednesday to beat Bournemouth? Nobody. <laughs> you know, it's such a tough and hard, hard division to predict. Right. Let's give me this. I am crank around. However, if we play like we did against Bourne, keep the same mentality, keep hold of that, we could actually do all right. You know, I do want to keep faith, mage. I never like the idea of managers being sacked, you know, because imagine how they feel. I don't like the idea of slating managers or players on Twitter. You know, I hate that. You know, really, I'm, you know, I really do hate that. You know, uh, slating managers on Twitter, you know, like I said, if it's not a hashtag cranker out, you know, that's fine, you know, but I just don't like the idea of, you know, all oh, these players are crap, this and that, cranker's tactics of this and that, you know. Cranker's a good manager, there's no doubt about it. He is a good manager. He's very tactical in the game, and even, you know, his press comments is pretty much actually very good. He's very knowledgeable, he knows a lot about the game, and, um,. Yeah, so he does know what he's doing. And, uh, yeah, I, I I hope he turns it around. But I, I feel like the hole is too big in the ship to fix. Because now we are now in the bottom three, as we are speaking. However, we've been in a lot worse situation than this and survived. Under Lee Clark, worse situation. You know, but obviously, it's a big difference here. We don't have fans there. You know, probably last season, to be fair, probably in a much worse state than we are now. You know... It's mistakes that are costing us, which, whether that's down to confidence or whether that's down to just unlucky, you know, obviously, again, having disallowed goals and, obviously, you know, red card decisions and penalties go against us or for, uh, you know, it just hasn't been right, has it, to be fair. My issue is, my issue is, who will replace him? That is my issue. That is my biggest issue. That is my biggest issue. Who will replace him if he does go? Because I don't want us to sack Karanka and appoint someone like Pulis. We're going backwards if we do that. There is no positives about that, really. You know, I feel like we honestly would be going backwards if we appoint Pulis. Um, and yeah, you know, Paul Cook. Well, I gotta admit, many Blues fans want Paul Cook. I'm fairly 50-50 um, on it. I Personally, it's a no for me. But uh, yeah... And who else is there? I'd like to go for a, like a Ryan Lowe or Lee Bowie. I think them two would be fantastic. I believe like a younger current major. You know, someone someone similar to obviously like when we had Gary Rower, Gary Monk. You know, younger current major trying to prove himself. I wouldn't have Gary Monk at Blues. It wouldn't be the same. You know, I wouldn't even have Gary Rower at Blues. It wouldn't be the same. It just wouldn't feel the same as what it was. You know, I don't like the idea. Like I don't like the idea of uh, managers coming back to clubs. Yeah. I mean, this is all I've really got to say, really. You know, I'm trying to defend Karanka. 
Uh, but I am struggling. I am slowly born the train to crank out. I've defended him countless times. And now I feel like a bit like an idiot for constantly defending him. His press conference, after the match, press conference are not that good. However, pretty much seems quite good. However, I do actually fear for him because, like I said, people saying he's not going to walk. Cranker will walk. <laughs> you know, there's no, but he's done it at Forest. He's done it at other clubs he's been at. You know, he walked because he wasn't going right for him or whether, you know, the owners weren't, you know, we weren't, had a good relationship with the owners or something like that, you know. He will walk. There's no doubt about it. He will walk. He wouldn't mind him pay off his own contract. Because he is that type of person, you know, he really wants to do well. The Luton game is a big game. It is an absolutely... I don't like saying the phrase must win. Because, like I said, there's still 54 points up for Grasby. It kind of is. Well, it's a must win for Karanka rather than Blues. It's a must win for Karanka to kind of get us back on board. Because what Blues need now, like Scott Hogan described it, is a home win or and back-to-back -back wins. Yeah. Sorry guys, I don't know like what the topic of this video really was that I've done, but yeah, I think I'll see get that off my chest. Feel so much better, but you know, let's not lose all hope just yet, okay? Let's not, let's not lose hope. If we, if we lose against Luton, yeah, hundred percent out. At the moment, I'm eighty percent out because it just, this just seems to be happening in image, and I don't, I like, God, I am getting a bit annoyed at people blaming. Dong for this and the owners for this. Let's face it, the owners and Dong has backed Karanka in terms of money wise and bringing in players. He's nowhere near at fault, Dong, for what he's done, really. How can we blame him? How can we blame him, honestly? There is no way we can blame him this season. He hasn't done anything wrong, you know, that we know of. You know, Karanka's pick. Karanka looks like he's picking the team. Dong put full trust in Karanka. Backing him with money, financial resources, and even just giving his full backing, you know. And um, yeah, and obviously they and the owners, the whoever they are, had <laughs> put money into the club. It's a bit ridiculous people blaming Don for this because we're calling for him out over soon that he can't change. How can he change the game which happening against Bournemouth that we lost? He can't change it. He just wants the club to succeed as just much as we do. Really, you know, we all get stuff wrong. It depends on how big the mistake. Obviously, sacking Rao up was a mistake and all that, you know. But that's done. <laughs> like I said, you know, he seems to have learned from his mistakes. In my opinion, he's done nothing wrong recently, really. You know, he can't help if the team's underperforming. He can't do much. The problem is, keep sacking managers during a pandemic. He's not going to help the club financially. That's it. Thank you guys for this video. That's love every single one of you. And yeah, I hope to catch you all in the next video, lads. Love you all, and I'll catch you all in a bit. Keep right on.